Acid pickling is the most reliable, economical and fastest method of removing the scale from carbon steel strip or profiles that results from hot rolling. In this way, the material is prepared for further processing or immediate application. With pickling, the scale is chemically removed and dissolved in the applied acid. To recover the applied acid from the used pickling acid and to redeploy it in the pickling process, the Andritzrutner spray roast regeneration is being used. A technology which for years has been an essential factor in treating steel when it concerns cost saving, a high level of automation and environmental awareness. The spray roast regeneration process is used in three main applications. Mixed acid regeneration in stainless steel processes, for metal oxide recovery, for regeneration of hydrochloric acid pickling solutions. In a first process stage, a part of the used acid is evaporated. Then it's injected into the furnace and thermally pyrolyzed or broken down. The end product is once more pure hydrochloric acid and iron oxide. This fine red-brown powder is a much sought after high value byproduct with buyers in the iron, ferrite and pigment industries. The complete system, along with the actual process equipment connected with comprehensive acid management, up-to-date computer control and the highest availability, allows recovery rates of almost 100%. Simultaneously, there's top profitability and high reliability. Up to 35% less energy consumption than other comparable systems further contributes to keeping costs as low as possible. The regeneration system built by us for First Alpina in Linz with an upstream waste acid purification, WAPUR, is to the highest standards of modern technology. If it's about cost optimizing, profitability, environmental consciousness and highest process security, then systems from Andritz Rutner are a dominant factor for the industry. Our systems for First Alpina not only meet our own high standards, but also fulfill all the government requirements and, of course, the very high quality demands of First Alpina. In order to produce the iron oxide byproduct at the highest purity, a chemical precipitation system was installed. Above the interstation acid storage, the pickler ends up in the leaching column of the waste acid purification, WAPUR. From above, this leaching column is filled with steel scrap, trimmings from the pickling line, with a semi-automatic electromagnetic lifting device. The used pickler completely dissolves this scrap, and from that, once more, comes valuable iron oxide. The material is not wasted. The overflow from the leaching column flows via gravity to the ammonia process bin. In the next step, the pickle is adjusted to a specified pH value through an exactly added dose of ammonia and iron hydroxide is precipitated. Additionally, fine air jets are blown in so that a lesser part of the iron hydroxide is oxidized. On these iron hydroxide particles lies the undesirable silicon oxide which exists in the pickler. Through the addition of a flocculant, these fine particles aggregate and can settle in the sedimentation tank. From the sedimentation tank, the slurry is pumped under high pressure to the filter press by a piston diaphragm pump. The filtrate, together with the overflow of the sedimentation tank, now flows to the storage tank for the pre-cleaned acid. To minimize the chloride loss and to retain the most neutral filter cake, it is washed with demineralized water directly in the chambers of the filter press. 
The filter cake is taken to a disposal site or reused as an additive for producing crude steel. The wash water is reused and so there is no waste water as is otherwise common in chemical processes. All of the parameters important for the process management, like temperatures, pressures, flow rates and pH values, are displayed and regulated in the switching room of the fully automatic control system. They can be checked on screen at any time by the service personnel and controlled and adjusted on demand. After the waste acid purification in the Wapur, the pickler is held in the purified acid tank and from there pumped into the Andritz Rutner spray roast regeneration system. The acid enters a Venturi evaporator. The inflow rate is regulated by a level monitor. A circulation pump circulates the pickling acid over the pre-concentrator, whereby a part of the volume is evaporated through direct contact with the hot roast gases, thus cooling them. That's efficient energy recovery, as the energy in the roast gases is completely utilized. The roaster feed pump conveys the pre-concentrated acid in a controlled stream to the spray nozzles. These nozzles are mounted in spray booms which can be brought into working position in the furnace on location and by remote control. Filters which are placed immediately before the jets in the spray booms protect the jets from blocking. The reactor, a steel container lined with refactories, is directly fired by tangentially mounted burners. The combustion gases, which produce a defined swirling profile, now evaporate the water and free acid contained in the waste pickle. In the hotter combustion zone, the iron chloride is being roasted, thus producing iron oxide and hydrogen chloride in gas form. The resulting oxide particles fall through gravity to the furnace bottom and are carried out of the reactor via a rotary feeder, which at the same time seals the reactor from the atmosphere. Ahead of the rotary feeder is a crusher which finely chops any larger iron oxide pieces. To achieve a constant low chloride content in the oxide, there's an after treatment in a directly heated mixing screw operated at a temperature of over 300 degrees Celsius with 20-fold gas exchange. Because the Rutner spray roast process runs at relatively low temperatures, the oxide temperatures also drop, enabling transport or further processing without expensive cooling equipment. The roast gases consist of combustion gases, water vapour and hydrogen chloride vapour. They exit the furnace through the top and are directed over a dust separator. The separated oxide particles are returned to the furnace. The roast gases then enter the Venturi evaporator where they are cooled and washed through direct contact with the circulating pickle. In the column, the roast gases are cleared by a counter stream of inflowing water. The water absorbs the HCl gases and so accumulates the regenerated acid. The regenerated acid flowing out of the column into the acid tank contains free hydrochloric acid from the pickle as well as that released from the iron chloride through the regeneration process. The outgoing gas at the head of the column consists of water vapour and combustion waste gas. Before the waste gas is conveyed over the roof into the surrounding atmosphere, a two-stage gas washing system carries out an additional purification. The first stage consists of a column scrubber and reduces free chlorine when acted upon by an iron chloride solution. 
The next washing stage for dust reduction is carried out by a venturi scrubber and is operated with demineralized water. The intermediate ventilator keeps the system under light negative pressure, preventing the escape of hydrogen chloride gases and dust into the surrounding area. Additionally, the ventilator impeller is supplied with water, which contributes to the exhaust gas cleaning. The recovered iron oxide is placed into big bags, a valuable raw material for sintered metal production and for the electronic industry. Andritz Rutner, with its acid regeneration systems, is a much sought after partner in the steel sector. Through tremendous know-how, decades of experience and top customer satisfaction, Andritz Rutner is, across the board, the absolute market leader when it comes to HCL and mixed acid regeneration systems. Customers all over the world rely on us. <laughs>